What's up guys, this is Sunny, back with another keyboard video. Today I have here one of my budget gaming slash workstation keyboard. I personally use this keyboard for gaming purpose mostly. Whenever I'm playing GTA 5, I need a 10 less keyboard with uh, you know 87 key layout because I do need to use this dedicated uh, arrow keys right here for flying jets and stuff. Now, the exact model I have here E Yoso 737, it's a Z737, that's a mechanical keyboard, hot swappable. This keyboard is one of the cheapest tenless keyboard I personally bought. For $26, I bought last year, came with a gaming mouse, I didn't like the gaming mouse, so I was like, you know what, I don't care about the mouse. Uh, I did change these uh, keycaps. I, you know, picked up these red keycaps from Amazon for around like $15. These are PVT keycaps. Uh, this keyboard actually came with all white uh, keycaps. So, today what I want to do, I want to get rid of these blue switches this keyboard comes with. And these blue switches are annoying. Like, I really don't like these blue switches. As you guys can see right here, this keyboard does come with blue switches and blue switches are really, really loud. I kind of find blue switches are really annoying to type, uh, especially late night and when everything is quiet and I'm just like typing or playing game with this keyboard, it's kind of annoying. So you guys can hear the blue switches right here. You know how these blue switches uh, sound. Kind of loud and almost feel like the keyboard is broken. Now, this keyboard is really plasticky, you know, it does flex, you know, it's not, you know, one of the, uh, it's not one of the fancy keyboard you can buy, but I personally think uh, this keyboard is one of the cheapest, tenless, uh, 87 key layout keyboard you can buy. I don't know if this keyboard still uh, available on Amazon, but it's a pretty good keyboard. It's a pretty good keyboard other than uh, there's two cons. The one is the blue switches. These are really loud. And the second con, you can detach this uh, cable and that's really, really annoying because I can't plug my uh, coil cable to this keyboard. But this keyboard does come with some nice stands, feet, whatever you guys want to call. And this keyboard is actually good for gaming. Because whenever I play GTA 5, you know, I need a uh, tenless keyboard for like uh, dedicated, you know, arrow keys right here, really helpful for flying jets and stuff. All right, so I picked up some cheap switches from Amazon. And I also picked up these switches last year. And I never got time to make this video and show you guys, but I picked up these I believe Magic Refiner, these were really cheap. I bought these two 45, 45, uh, you know, switches, you know, each box had 45, 45 switches for $12. And now um, only one box of 45 switches will cost you around $12. Um, I believe these are linear switches, uh, get around uh, three pin switches. So let me remove these keycaps and install these uh, switches real quick so you guys can see how good this budget keyboard will sound. All right, so here you guys can see the switches, the one I will install right now. Uh, this also comes with uh, three pins. Let me show you. Some of these are slightly bent, so I have to like, you know, adjust these um, pins before I install. So I got a really good deal. I only paid uh, $6 for 45 switches. Uh, for two uh, box right here, uh, for like 90 switches, I paid around $12. But currently, uh, this switch is going for, like 45 switches actually going for $12. All 
All right, guys, finally, finally, I'm done installing uh, the new switches and I love this keyboard right now. Like before, I wouldn't use this keyboard because of, you know, what, the weird noise the switches were making, like sounded like almost broken. And I know blue switches are the worst switches, kind of loud and doesn't sound too good. But these uh, linear switches are uh, getting through pin ones. Uh, these sounds pretty good. I love it. I, I love this keyboard right now. Seriously, like I will personally use this $26 keyboard right now for every day, work or gaming purpose. Before I didn't use it because it didn't sound right. Uh, this keyboard doesn't have like RGB lights, uh, you know, only comes with like what, like blue or uh, hyper white. Does have some RGB on the side, but I don't think you can change the colors. Um, I don't know. But other than that, the keyboard is performing really well. I did test all those switches with the uh, keyboard tester, all the switches working. Uh, one or two of the switches didn't work because I bent the pin when I was installing it. Other than that, this keyboard is working flawlessly. I love it, guys. I love it. All right. There'll be a link in the video's description, the keyboard link and the switches I use. Um, I use those... Um, uh, Magic Refiner, uh, the linear switches, and uh, this sounds pretty good. These are pre loop, uh, get around uh, three pin. Uh, you can pick up these switches, uh, 45 switches for $12, and I still think it's good. I kind of got crazy deal. I bought two boxes of 45, 45 switches uh, for around $12. But still, even you buy 45 switches right now for $12, it's still a great deal. You are not going to, uh, you know, make mistake buying these switches but one thing about these switches i don't know uh, you know maybe every other switches are kind of like that aftermarket ones um the pin like it was kind of easy to break like if you push those pins around like you know like a couple times those pins will break and i had to make sure like whenever i'm installing those switches i had to make sure like you know i line up the um, uh, the pin before i you know press the switches in um, I made mistake two time and broke uh, two of the switches pin. But that's that. The keyboard is working flawlessly. Love the keyboard. Uh, the only thing I don't like about this keyboard, I can't detach this cable. But other than that, guys, for $26, this baby sounds really, really good. All right, guys, let me know what you guys think. If you guys have any question, leave your question in the comment section. If you do like my video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. See you guys next one. Peace.